See, man, I told y'all, man. It, it, it's time for Jeff Hardy to retire, and I understand that this was kind of be – you could kind of knock this off as a, a, a freak accident, but how many more freak accidents can Jeff Hardy have? Now, before I get into this video, 76% of the people who watch these videos are not subscribed, man. Hit that subscribe button, or I will be under your bed tonight. I need, I, I just need 70 more people to hit that subscribe button. So hit that subscribe button, I'm going to be under your bed tonight. I'm, I'm, I'm just being honest with you. Now, uh, at t tonight, uh, there was a Rampage taping for uh, Friday Night Rampage. Um, and, you know, Jeff Hardy is like a main stater right now at this point. He isn't moving ratings enough to be on dynamite he isn't moving up he isn't moving ratings enough to even be on collision most of the time so he's on rampage he's on the uh post smackdown show and today he, it looks like he was in a tlc match or some kind of no disqualification match with sammy guevara and i think S sammy hit a shooting star press and it, it went all wrong man that man's knee landed strict like just straight on this man's head and neck and apparently it busted uh jeff open it gave him a concussion he's all banged up and um again uh, again it was a freak accident like let's be fair here but again how many how many freak accidents can uh, uh jeff hardy even take at this point you know it only takes one before you know he's up out of there he doesn't recover he's not a young spring chicken anymore you know like who knows what the recovery time is going to be for him. And, you know, just given the fact that there was ladders and other weapons and stuff outside, like just all scattered around the ring. You no, know, this was like best case scenario. And we see this happen weekly with Jeff Hardy in his matches, man. Just a couple weeks ago against Swerve, he had a twist of fade off the steps and like the back of his head hit the steps. I remember when he did a, a swanton bomb against Elias and again, the back of his head hit the steps. Like even Matt Hardy, I think was that against Sammy Guevara? Was that against Sammy backstage and they did like some kind of clothesline or something off a, 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 a like a some kind of brief not briefcase uh some kind of you know pedestal and Matt Hardy damn near bust his skull open on the floor like bro there this is for Rampage bro like why are we doing this stuff for Rampage man and. I don't know. I, it's time for him to retire. It's time for him to give it up. You know, again, I know. I, I know what, the only excuse that, you know, I know people, I can hear it now. Oh, it was a freak accident. Oh, this guy happened to anybody. Yes, that's true. But how many times can this man put up with that kind of stuff? He isn't going to recover from this fast. And it, it got to hurt work. It got to hurt more and more each time it happens, man. This, this dude is accident prone at this point. And I'm not saying it's his fault, but. You know, maybe he shouldn't be taking shooting star press or whatever from, you know, uh, uh, green guys like Sammy Guevara at this stage of his life. You know, I, I don't know. I wish somebody would protect this man from himself, though. It seems like the only person who can is Matt Hardy, and he's the reason he's even in there. So I genuinely believe if Matt Hardy told Jeff Hardy to sit the hell down, he would sit the hell down. But Matt Hardy needs to sit the hell down himself, and he won't, so... I don't know. It's pretty sad, and it just it gets worse every time you hear about Jeff Hardy and AEW. It's something bad. It's never anything good. So, I I love Jeff Hardy. Like, uh, I wouldn't be who I am without Jeff Hardy, man. It, it's so sad. It's so sad. I I just I that's that's my guy, man. Top five, top five, top ten wrestler for me. And just to see this, I, like, I I hope he's happy, but. You know, I, I think it's time for him to start transitioning to something else that makes him happy. Uh, he got a lot of art forms. He, you know, he, he he indulges in a lot of stuff outside of wrestling. So, I think it's time to lean into those more. So, yeah, I think it, it's over for wrestling. But y'all, let me know what y'all think about this in the comments, man. Have a beautiful night. Again, if you don't hit that subscribe button, I'm gonna be under your bed. Need about seventy more people to hit that subscribe button. I definitely appreciate it. Have a beautiful night. Sub to act. Peace.